Hi, this is Chris with Applied Bolting. In this hands-on clinic, we're going to talk about DTI location and bolt assembly orientation. There are a couple common ways to install DTIs. We're now gonna do the head side installation on our installation sheet, that is figure A. Now the traditional means of installing a DTI was to put the DTI bumps against the bolt head, insert it through the steelwork, and then tighten from the nut end. So let's do that. There we have the threads up, bolt threads, DTI bumps into the bolt head, insert the bolt through the steelwork, flat wash or a nut on the threaded end, From here, we're going to have to put a spud wrench against the bolt head to keep it from turning directly against the DTI bumps, and someone's going to advance the nut to induce the bolt tension. Let's stuff the rest of the bolts. Once again, bolt, DTI bumps into the bolt head, then insert that through the steelwork. We're going to have our flat washer and our nut. Bolt, DTI bumps directly against the bolt head. Through the steelwork, flat washer, then our nut. Last bolt, DTI bumps right against the bolt head. Through the steelwork, our flat washer, then our nut. Now that all the bolts are stuffed, we're going to snug the connection from the middle of the connection outward, bringing all the plies into firm contact. From there, we can properly tension all the bolts. That will be somebody spinning the nut while somebody spuds the head from rolling against the bumps. Once in a while, not too often, somebody's gonna to have to install the DTI bumps against the nut, but spin the bolt head. Once again, not too often, but we're gonna show it to you anyway. We're gonna spin our connection around. Now this is a little bit different. We're gonna put the assembly together almost backwards, if you will. We're gonna put flat washer directly against the bolt head. We're gonna insert that through the steelwork. Then we're gonna put the DTI on, bumps out, and then our nut. But we're not gonna turn the nut for installation, we're gonna turn the bolt head. Now we have a flat washer underneath the bolt head. Somebody's gonna advance the bolt head, and somebody's gonna prevent the nut from turning with a spud wrench. Once that sucks up, just run the head until you get the right bolt tension, the bumps are flat, or you have the right amount of squirt. Once again, we have our bolt flat washer in alignment. Then we're going to put the DTI on, bumps out, and then our nut. Two person operation. Somebody's going to advance the bolt head while somebody keeps the nut from rolling. Bolt through the steelwork. DTI on, bumps out. Then our nut. Last bolt through the structure. DTI on, bumps out. Then our nut. From here, now all the bolts are stuffed. We can snug the connection from the middle outward, bring our applies into firm contact. After that, we can tension all the bolts. Somebody's gonna turn the bolt head. Somebody's gonna keep the nut from rolling. And when you see the bumps flatten out, or this proper amount of silicone come out, we're gonna stop tightening. Now, two important rules to keep in mind. One, the DTI bumps must always face away from the steelwork, and number two, you can never turn directly against the DTI bumps. You always have to have a hardened flat washer between the turned element and the DTI bumps. If you have any questions about DTI or squirter DTI installation, feel free to call us at Applied Bolting, or check us out online at AppliedBolting.com.